I don't know. I, th I mean, I'd like to say it was from hanging around the team, but it probably wasn't. I was just a ball boy who got that in um, training camp for a little bit. But just being around my dad my whole life, I think, um, definitely helps you understand the urgency of everything. I remember going to three Super Bowls um, before sixth grade when we were in the AFC and he was a coordinator. And I think the closest one of those, they lost by, I want to say 19 which, or 17, first one versus the Giants. And they lost 55 to 10 versus the Niners in the last one. So I kind of got used to that growing up, just being over in the AFC and then um, went to the Niners and won it. And that's what was so cool going back to Denver and then went in at that, um, my senior year in high school versus Green Bay. Um, I think the first time in 13 years that the AFC had won. So I'm um, just going through that and knowing how your dad is before him, after him, all that stuff. You just, you get the, even though you don't realize you're learning it, but you, those are your life experiences. You got a very good idea of how it works. And then I've been fortunate enough to be in a few of these of my own. And, um, not much different than how they were and how I remember them growing up. Um, we're here, we're practicing on it. I mean, everyone has their preferences and wish things were better, but we'll deal with the field how it is. I just remember when I started and um, went to Tampa Bay as a quality control and I was drawing everything in books and stuff and everything was drawn out from wide splits, nothing was from tight splits. And then I always looked at everything when I first started through a receiver standpoint, just because that's what I played most of uh, my life growing up. And it was so cool to watch how it helped people get open, um, how it looked one way out here, it looked totally different in here. Some people wouldn't even bump you back then. It was like they only could bump outside the numbers. You could get the bump off every time. You could get leverage with people, change stuff up. And I think it started that way just from seeing how you could help people get open. And then you start to learn the run game. You start to learn how safeties fit, how leverage is different and things like that. And then it just evolves to a lot more. I think since I became a head coach, I mean, I think offensive coaches, you're always thinking about the time and stuff. I mean, play callers, just being a coordinator, you know, being able to call plays for the nine years before becoming a head coach, um, I think gave me a lot of experience. I mean, you never call a play without having an idea of what's on the clock, uh, the down and distance, the score, all of that stuff. So um, it's always in your mind every time you watch football, every time you do anything. And I do think that once becoming a head coach, it's – you from game management and stuff I mean always the the clock issues are usually the same but how to win the game becomes a little bit different I think when you're th calling plays and paying that stuff attention as a coordinator it's more about how do you score how, how do you get points how do you outscore the other team because you don't watch the other team's offense you don't have a good feel of your defense you're not watching the game as it goes you're just getting ready for your series and I think becoming a head coach you realize how to call plays how to use the time and stuff not just to get points but really just try to help you win the game